cat bobbing her head <laughs> down. I, I don't know. I think that's a signal. Okay. Yeah, this could have been a grind video for the week. However, we're going to put it off one more week. Why? Because we had a really cool plant demo. A show this past weekend that not everybody got to see. So we thought rather than to move that to another week and kind of replace the grind, what do you think if we just show people some clips from this weekend? We can do that. I shot some video. I know Caleb got some good stuff too. Uh, we also have Jerry and his wife who got some amazing video as well that we'll all be kind of sharing that really show how the weekend went. The push right now is live plants. It's creating these magical worlds that are on the same scale as saltwater reef aquariums, but just doing it on a lesser scale or maybe a less expensive scale with live plants and trying to bring some cool little biotopes into uh, the world of fish keeping here in Columbia, South Carolina. And uh, this is the man that's gonna do it. He's a prince. We'll make it happen. We've got um, another source we're ordering from. The plants came in looking amazing. And we'll look forward to kind of releasing more information on what's going on. Look forward to it, because there may be a sale or something coming up. So we have Francois here. He is part of the Aquarium Partners and the protobio line and he was kind enough to bring jerry out here this is the tank jerry did for us to keep in store and it will be kept with the bio kits the fertilizers and the whole line of protobio francois yeah so that's what jerry did this weekend after uh, the show was finished because he was very explaining what we did on the first one so everybody was there looking at what she did, at very details, and all the product we talk. So then we, we did this one just after the show. So we use the Prodibio soil, this is the aqua gold soils. We use all the aquascape, you, artscape you can find here in the yep. store. So the rocks, what kind of rocks you used? Uh, it was the serious stone, and then I don't know what type of wood we got. The spider woods and all these things, and it glue it. If you was at the store yep. at the show, you can see um, what he used. We use right now some fertilizers. That's why the water is a little bit cloudy. Um, but don't worry about that. It's show the bloom of bacteria, and it's completely normal. You have a cloudy tanks when you just set up and put the bacteria. You agree with me? Yep, no, it'll generally what 12 to 24 hours and then it'll be crystal clear again, exactly. And then you can use the pro clear that will clear the water, get everything together, and filters. So that's the best way. We use the bio kit reef, uh, not reef because it's fresh. So, bio kit fresh, this one. So, we have also the bio kit reef. Uh, we use the uh, bio digest, uh, trace elements, and nutrients for the bacteria so is that what we get it's a 40 gallon tank 20, 20 gallon tank this is a 20 how gallon. do i know your tanks better than you yeah because it's 40 centimeters so i'm the conversions so sometimes i just messed up with gallon <laughs> meters liters so 75 liters for 20 gallons anything i'm missing i'm not sure you miss anything about this one it's a brand new Aquascape, um, i sure so people that are coming this weekend was very excited because I count about 60 to 70 people on the drawer. Yeah. So it was very interesting to see all these uh, Aquascape people here in Colombia, South Carolina. It was it's a growing market. No, yeah, and a lot of people was there, a lot of people. Jerry was very happy to make this event. He called me yesterday and I said, well, it was fantastic. The store was fantastic. Good. I see a lot of people, a lot of questions. Uh, yeah, it was very, very interesting. Yeah. Amazing. Thank you yeah. for the show. Thank you. Thank you for putting it on. Yeah. How's everyone doing today? Good. How many keeps uh, planted aquariums? Yeah? How many of you uh, consider yourselves aqua spears? No? Don't worry. Don't fret. I was there once. Nobody starts out like knowing what to do. A lot of practice, a lot of, a lot of time.
So my name is JJ. My wife and I live down in Miami. Um, on Instagram, we're Miami Dade Aquascaping, but we also have a business. We sell Nano Fish, Frame Fish Depot. Um, but I've been aquascaping since 2007 ish. But I only started really getting good a couple years ago. You know, 10,000 hour rule and all. But uh, we're going to try to bang this. This aquascape out that's going to be given away to one of you lucky guys, ladies. And uh, we're going to try banging out an hour and a half, two hours, hopefully less. And so, what I like to do is, is, I like to take my pieces and I don't really plan. I just kind of look at what I got and I try to manipulate and see how I can get it to fit together. So, this is going to be the main piece I start with. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to find a piece of stone that fits into it. And get something on this one. Looks like it fits, right? Looks like it grew there, right? So we're going to start with that. We had the ALA convention a couple of weeks ago in Fort Lauderdale, and I did an aquascape for a booth. And I spent about seven hours one night building this little tank on the and I didn't touch it for a month. And literally, like two days before, I finished it off and planted it. They spent like another seven hours on it. That's the that is the, the limit of my Again, I'm just looking for pieces that'll. I'm just looking for pieces that already fit. <laughs> It does it, it's got all the additives again, it's going to reveal itself. But um, it also comes when you buy it, you bag of this, you get, you get, a, you get a box of the backer kit soil, which they put in these little vials, glass vials. Um, they give you a little thing to pop it off on the end, but you can still purchase it if you're not paying attention. Um, so go, you get one with the, with the bag. What this is, is it creates the bacteria right away from the, in, in the soil. So what we do is, is when, we, when we're ready to plant, um, you can do it a couple different ways. Roman taught me, told me to, uh, Roman is one of the, the French guys in the company, the higher up. The boss. Huh? It's the boss. He's the, he's the boss. There you go. I don't know exactly his job. I just know who he is. <laughs> He, uh, he says to break it into a cup of water and then pour it over the soil. You can do that. Uh, I, I've also done it where I just pop them off and pull them right in. So you can do it whichever way you like. I haven't seen any different one way or the other. Just pour a lot of it on there. Work it in with your finger. Immersed and that's the submerged. What's up, guys? So, yeah, we have uh, 
Nice little marine and tank. I do not know how big the- 27 gallons. Is. All right. 27. 27 gallons, there you go. It's a cube. So we got some spider wood, series stone, mixture of Anubiuses. You got some swords in there. You also have uh, some crypto coins in the back, a little Penentafidia in the, in, the, in the base here. And uh, it's just nice little hardscape, mountain, mountain, I wouldn't say mountain, but like you'd see it in a river. Little tiger lotuses. With prodibial soil in the back mm. for nutrients, for growing, for growing the plants. It comes with a the bacter kit which is the bacteria that Prodivio makes to, to seed the aquarium. You get this nice light and the filter for it and a skimmer too. So, did you have fun today? Yes, always have fun. Good, good. So once again, thank you to Francois who flew Jerry out from Miami-Dade Aquascaping, the whole Protobio team for putting this on. This is some of the remnants we have. And with that too, we decided to throw some plant packages together. We got some high tech, some low tech, some bigger tanks, some smaller tanks, and we can go take a look at those now. So to start off with some of these aquarium packages we put together, we're starting off with a 26 gallon all in one tank. This is gonna be one of our high tech things that we've got going on. Your AI light, your ELO CO2, your ELO substrate, your protobio fertilizers, your dechlorinator from Prime. So. That's everything you really need to get going and set this up to try to be a Takashi Amano of your own. Oh yeah, you said it on. Over here we do have some slightly bigger options. You got your 27 gallon cube and it's got your filter, your lights, your heaters, everything else you need here to tuck this away in a corner and make it look really nice. Over here, if you want something a little bigger, you can do a 55 gallon that we have set up. It has a canister filter on this, so that way you can try to hide everything, make it look really kind of sleek and high speed. Your eco complete, your surface skimmers, uh, your planted light, everything to make that look really well too. And then over here for people who live in a smaller apartment or really don't have the space but want to get into this, I believe it's a nine gallon bookshelf tank. Your protobio soils, your protobio fertilizers, nice little tidal filter that has your surface skimmer built in. Make it look really nice. And this whole section over here is pretty much anything to get you started in that planted tank section and bring this little piece of nature home to you.